Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video and in this quiz we have lung infections and disorders. But before we get started, we notice that there are a lot of you watching our videos but are not liking and subscribing. So please make sure to like and subscribe to our videos. This way it helps the YouTube algorithm have our videos get shown and we can create more content to keep you guys sharp in all of your subjects and topics in the medical and healthcare fields. This is a 13 question quiz. You have 10 seconds to answer each question or you can pause the video and answer and then we'll continue. And we'll have the answers towards the end. Good luck and let's begin. Question one, which of the following can be used as a method to diagnose asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and COPD? What is the name of the tiny balloon-like sacs? Question three, which respiratory disease causes the airway to become narrow, inflamed, and constricted? Question four, which two diseases could result in COPD? Question five, which of the following is a cause of congestive heart failure? Question six, which respiratory disease is characterized as inflammation of the bronchi and the bronchial tubes due to infections, smoking, or pollutants? Question seven, persistent cough that produces clear, yellow, white, or green phlegm is a symptom of what respiratory disease? Question eight, what obstructive lung disease involves damage to the alveoli caused by exposure to toxic chemicals or cigarette smoke? Question nine, what happens when you have COPD caused by emphysema? Question number 10, in which disease does the kidneys sense the reduction in blood flow and attempt to compensate by retaining water and salt? Question 11, which type of apnea is characterized as when a patient stops breathing but the airway is open? Question 12, which of the following would be a possible treatment for asthma? Question 13, wheezing is a possible symptom for which respiratory diseases? Question 
Okay guys, it's now time to check your answers and see how many of the questions you got right. Question one, which of the following can be used as a method to diagnose asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and COPD? The answer is B, chest x-ray. Question two, what is the name of the tiny balloon-like sacs? The answer is B, alveoli. Question three, which respiratory disease causes the airway to become narrow, inflamed, and constricted? The answer is C, asthma. Question four, which two diseases can result in COPD? The answer is B, emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. Question five, which of the following is the cause of congestive heart failure? The answer is A, coronary artery disease. Question six, which respiratory disease is characterized as inflammation of the bronchi and the bronchial tubes due to infections, smoking, or pollutants? The answer is B, chronic bronchitis. Question seven, persistent cough that produces clear, yellow, white, or green phlegm is a symptom of what respiratory disease? The answer is A, chronic bronchitis. Question eight, what obstructive lung disease involves damage to the alveoli? caused by exposure to toxic chemicals or cigarette smoke? The answer is B, emphysema. Question nine, what happens when you have COPD caused by emphysema? The answer is A, the alveoli filters become damaged, elasticity is reduced, and then they become enlarged. Question 10, in which disease does the kidney sense the reduction in blood flow and attempt to compensate by retaining water and salt? The answer is B, congestive heart failure. Question 11, which type of apnea is characterized as when a patient stops breathing but the airway is open? The answer is B, central sleep apnea. Question 12, which of the following would be a possible treatment for asthma? The question is B, nebulizer. Question 13, wheezing is a possible symptom for which respiratory diseases? The answer is A, asthma, chronic bronchitis, and emphysema. And hopefully you guys got all of those questions right, or most of those questions right. If you need to review, you can always take this quiz again to further enhance your knowledge of respiratory diseases and disorders. Hey guys, thanks for playing this quiz. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and get notified of more quizzes and trivia. See you guys on the next one.